so, I was just scrolling around online, checking out anime that will be coming out this year, and noticed a common trait among the upcoming anime. So often, many of them were little sister-based. Huh, I wondered, how could such a niche topic keep repeatedly be shoved down my Jose-loving throat? Having thought this, I recalled some unpleasant memories that makes me beg the question. Why? Why, little sister? I would be amiss if I said I didn't also enjoy the little sister pastime once in a while. What with such masterpieces like Arrow Manga Sensei and Orimo. <laughs> But there gets to be some moments where I feel a little twinge of discomfort because the people you see kissing, the couple you have been rooting for, are brother and sister. And hey, if you don't feel uncomfortable, that's fine. To each their own. I won't judge you. I mean, for God's sakes, I used to write fanfiction of me and Edward Elric together. But there gets to be a line that is crossed when you know when shit has really hit the fan. When your own real-life, non-weeb older brother comes up to you and asks you, Sydney, what is Aero Manga Sensei? What am I supposed to say to that? Do I sit him down and say, Russell, would an anime brother and sister that may or may not be related love each other very much and hope he gets it? It's like a goddamn infection! Leaking into every season, somehow getting brought up in subjects with strangers who don't even know what anime really is! <laughs> you never watched anime? You should watch Boku no Pico. No! If you want to traumatize them, you put on Kiss Excess! From a normal point of view, I think we can all agree that incest in real life is most definitely not wincest. But we all still love it in its animated form. Of course, it's probably the allure of the taboo or the fact that you're so unattractive you can only hope your parents remarry and move overseas leaving you with a young girl that somehow looks past your weeb tendencies and loves you for who you are. I won't delude your fantasies, because that's probably all you have. I just think we all should come to terms with the fact that when you surprise your parents by saying you have a new addition to the family, you don't bring your ducky mucket of Shiro with a shampoo stain on it. But maybe that's just me. Also, if by some blessed miracle, your parents did grace you with an Animu younger sister, well, just remember incest is illegal in all 50 states, and she probably hates you more than you hate yourself somehow. I am also a real-life younger sister to two Oni-chans. Am I prize to you? Do you root for us? Do you ship me with them? In the end, I think we all... we all need help. There needs to be governmental funding put aside for us weaves to get the therapeutic help we all so desperately need. We need to ask God, why? Why have you forsaken your believers? What have I, no, we, done to be stuck in this unending hell? What is salvation? Someone, for the love of all that is mighty, please, please save me. But there isn't saving. Not here. So thus, this concludes my little sister rant for all of whom that have listened. What the fuck is your problem with Aramanga-sensei? HOMOSYGOSITY!